Hi there, friends, uh, fans of astrology, fans of crypto, and crypto woo. My name is Aura, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for all your comments and for liking my videos and helping me to grow. I am very grateful to have you, and I really have the best group of people coming to visit my channel. So thank you so much. Um, so this week's horoscope. What's going on uh, with the eclipse for each of the signs all right starting with aries so the mars aspects here um are actually easing up so the eclipse stuff for aries people is having a big impact in your career okay so stuff is being revealed in the career sector in the where you work and the people you work with information about people you work with um just stuff about the financial finances, the books, what's going on with the books uh, around where you're working. Oh, JP Morgan, um, there was a big bust and they found like the biggest drug bust in history. There was all this cocaine on a JP Morgan ship. So this is the kind of thing like secrets coming up in people's lives. So JP Morgan is a financial institution and most certainly should not be dealing in some of the largest trafficking of drugs in the world. But these are the kinds of things associated with this eclipse. So I'm not saying that's going to happen in my Aries friend's workplace, but something smaller could happen. You could find out that someone you're working with was embezzling or stealing things or selling stuff on the side or stuff like that. Um, so that's going on for Aries. Let's talk about Mercury retrograde in Leo for Aries. So this isn't a terrible placement for it because it's in the fifth house. It's a, it's a trine for um, Aries in general, and it brings uh, back old creative projects. It can bring back old connections to children, artwork, even old flings, old flames come back into your life. And something associated with that, hey, you could have had... <laughs> A fling that comes back with a child later. So some of this kind of unveiling of past hidden stuff can come up um, with the retrograde of Mercury in your fifth house that has to do with creativity. The best use of it, of course, is bringing back an old uh, art or creative project that you started and maybe working on it again and getting it completed because now it's a great time to do that. You'll get it done. So, okay, moving on to Scorpios. So for Scorpio, the retrograde of Mercury in Leo is not so easy. It's a much more challenging aspect. It's a square. So it puts that all at the roots of your chart, So which is your home and the roots of how you feel. So you're wrestling with stuff in your living environment, um, potentially a lot of communication, a lot of information, uh, re regulations. I don't know how regulations affect your home, but if there's something you're doing that has regulations around it, associate with your home like permits for building things like that that's a headache it's just going back and forth and da, 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 trying to fix it like if you're doing some remodeling um mars just went through that space so it could have been a big change around the home but it's not necessarily this doesn't look so much like remodeling as it does like having to clear up uh details paperwork information knowledge trips around town dealing with the little little garbage stuff um and then the uh actual eclipse for Scorpios is in Capricorn and uh, that is in your third house. So there is a ton of stuff going on around communication and it is all affecting you in your living space and also how you feel about yourself and the roots of feelings and uncomfortable feelings. And, you know, this is an opportunity to purge a lot of very, very deep feelings of, um, you know, Scorpio is a tough sign to be, and I um, always have great empathy for Scorpios. My mom was a Scorpio. I have Scorpio rising. Scorpio has got some sort of karma of rejection that you have to deal with. So there's those deep feelings of some level where you feel rejected or angered about something that um, has pushed you in a direction you don't like. And that stuff is coming up now, and it's an opportunity to release it once and for all and to approve of yourself. This is really what it boils down to. It doesn't matter what other people think. If you approve of yourself, then you'll attract situations to you that do approve of you. So I definitely empathize with this sort of deep Scorpio stuff, um, and I do think it's coming up now this week to be healed. It's an opportunity to release and heal stuff at the deepest emotional level of who you are. So it's kind of an intense week for Scorpios. And then, um, so moving on to um, 
my uh, Venus people, so the Taurus people, um, you know, Venus in Cancer is nice for you. It makes you feel like cozy and safe. You might want to just kind of wrap yourself in the blanket of your safe space and not leave it, like stay home all the time. Um, probably not so great. You probably want to get out into the world a little bit. Um, but uh, the eclipse in Capricorn is actually not harmful, really. It's not like hurtful. It's not like a challenge too much for our Venus people, but it is bringing up hidden information. So a lot of that hidden information is like philosophical stuff, points of view, people coming to see your point of view, people coming to recognize what you've been saying and having light bulbs go off over their head like, wow, she might have had a point there um, or he might have had a point with what he was saying or thinking. And there's just kind of a, a like a illumination of information that uh, has an impact. Um, while Mercury retrograde in Leo is hard for Taurus, it's, um, it's a much more challenging thing. So it's a career thing as much as it is um, an emotional thing. And for Tauruses, it's very much about um, how you communicate yourself, how you express your ideas, how um, maybe a lot of communication with siblings and uh, getting new uh, information or wrestling through details of information in order to sort things out. So for Libras, um, what this is doing is we are getting um, a big balance seesaw of energy uh, with uh, mother-father energy. Um, so essentially, this is moving towards emotions and dealing with any emotions that might be out of whack about parents and parental patterning that may have come up um, for Libras in the world. Um, it's a really, it's a really strong dynamic that has to do with how you perceive yourself in the world, how you represent yourself in the world, how you're seen in the world, which is a reflection of what you, your expectations were upon you when you were a child from your father and your mother, both. But um, this particular eclipse is moving more towards the feminine, emotional feeling dynamic. So it's asking you to process your feelings and process your emotions, things that might be unresolved around your um, relationship with your father would be coming up right now in terms of your um, way you're being seen in the world, uh, having to do with your career and the dynamic of your career. And so that's where uh, things are being revealed. Things in your career um, could give you some insight into your relationship with your father. There could be some stuff that comes up that's being revealed in the world and the outer identity for you that... Um, that is going to have an impact on your idea of reputation and what is the right way to do things. So, um, and it could be very emotional. It could bring up some deep emotions because something is being triggered here that is about um, your childhood stuff. So um, it's pretty deep for Libras. I know that my son's dealing with a lot of fear and I've been working through that with him. And as his mother, you know, with the moon, his mother, I'm uh, teaching him some breathing techniques. I taught him box breath, which is where you breathe in for four counts, hold it for four counts, breathe out for four counts, hold it for four counts. If you do that four times in a row, you'll get 100% present in the moment. It's a good way to resolve anything that's coming up that's a bit of an emotional issue. So um, that's my best suggestion in general for Libras right now. Um, but it is also leading to some sort of new development around your career, and it can be an opportunity. So there could be good stuff in there as well. Uh, the retrograde of uh, of Mercury is going to bring you some kind of a, a new lease on your uh, life around your emotions. Clearing the emotion is going to bring something really profound in to you in the near future. Um, so that's a good thing. And then, uh, so after Libra, let's uh, let's talk about my Mercury friends. Let's start with Gemini. Uh, so Gemini, of course, the retrograde Mercury is in your sign. Uh, retrograde Mercury in Leo for everybody has to do with um, issues of uh, pride, um, wounding of respect, uh, needing to feel treated with dignity and respect. So there can be issues here where someone has wounded your pride or there can be something going on here with a political situation that has to do with... Um, just people being treated with dignity. Um, 
And of course, we know that's all very heavily tied to this eclipse, is uh, all these issues in the news with Epstein. So this is a personal thing as well on some level for you. Um, and for Gemini, it is mostly operating in your own natural house of the third house, what so has to do with communication very, very much. It also um, is... Uh, is heavily related to money and finance that is shared with other people. So it has to do with the ties you have with people that are financial ties and whether there is mutual kind of respect and treating each other correctly around what you share. And, um, you know, everyone deserves to be treated with respect. So this is an opportunity or in fact, probably a being pushed to the edge where you're being um, asked that you need to uh, stand up for dignity stand up for respect, stand up for being treated correctly. So there's definitely a boundary issue and a, a way of communicating now that has to do with uh, speaking truth in a respectful way, but with firm and clear boundaries. Um, I'm actually doing a video later this week about um, the Epstein case. And there's a video, there's a link in there that I'm going to bring out that has to do, that's a Brene Brown. You should look up Brene Brown. There's a couple of videos she's done that are really fantastic that talk about this exact issue that I feel is very strong for Gemini this week um, and really for the rest of the year. So moving on from there to a Virgo, Virgo is also dealing with something similar to Gemini. So I suggest you Virgos uh, go back one and listen to what I said about Gemini about respect and uh, dignity and honor and being uh, treated with respect and honor and dignity and respect, treating others with respect and honor and dignity. And this being a very key theme to this retrograde in Leo, this retrograde of Mercury in Leo. Now for you, this is taking place kind of somewhere beyond your uh, conscious recognition. <laughs> so it's like in your subconscious, but it doesn't mean you're not aware of it. it you might not be aware of all of it. There is some kind of a dignity here, wound around dignity that's requiring, it could be good to keep a dream journal, but there's, it's requiring you to dig in to uh, the deeper recesses of your mind, your emotions, your psychology. There could be, um, you know, some issues here where you're not being approved of for being who you really are. And you're being asked by this retrograde to get in touch with who you truly are and honor it. Um, the, uh, the, the direction you're supposed to go in um, is a, more in your 11th house. So it's something about speaking out and expressing yourself socially um, through your emotions, being honest with your emotions in a social dynamic among the, the groups of people you're part of, especially around the women around you. So there's something here that has to do with you honoring your emotions and your feelings around women. It might be a case where that was never allowed. You know, you may have grown up in an environment where it wasn't allowed for you to express your feelings, but everyone deserves to have feelings and everyone deserves to have them respected. So for Virgos, this issue is, um, has to do with creativity and artistic energy being kind of squashed actually with Saturn in the fifth house and issues of oppression around your, uh, maybe around children or around your creative outlook and output. And you actually need to be in touch with that creative energy in order to be fully yourself and to express yourself. So your soul journey is asking you to step up and treat your inner knowing and your, uh, maybe you have mystical leanings and it was completely not allowed in your childhood environment. You're being asked to step up and respect your own truth. You know, what is true to who you are because you're only here to be you, not to be anybody else and not to, um, you know, yes, we have parents and we have family and they have their expectations of us, but that's as much our lesson in life and what we chose to overcome as it is what we're, it's not what we're supposed to be, it's not what we're supposed to do, right? We're not here to do what other people expect of us. We're here to do what we need to do. So that is very much coming up very strongly for Virgo about speaking out and uh, sharing your truth. And um, okay, so Moving on from Virgo, let's talk about um, the Eclipse babies, the Leo and the Virgo, I mean, sorry, the Leo and the Cancers. So the retrograde of Mercury in Leo, starting with Leo, the retrograde of Mercury in Leo is a issue about pride and respect and dignity and all those issues coming up. And um, 
So for Leo, this is very personal and it's very much like centered around you. And you might feel some sting to your um, pride somehow. Something might happen that makes you feel, uh, you know, put down in some way, shape, or form. That might be going on. It's sort of a six-week cycle. We have about three more weeks of it. And um, that's bringing some sort of wound or issue front and center for you to look at. You may have not wanted to look at it or deal with it before, but there's something emotional attached to it that has to do with you expressing your feelings as well. Similar to uh, Virgo, it is a lot going on behind the scenes where it's unseen. There might be secrets that are coming out or secrets that are being kept by women or associated with women that... Um, are needing to be released that are going to start coming out um, and it's affecting day-to-day -day routines it's going to change your routines or your health in some way something is revealed about your day-to-day -day life that um, needs to be addressed and it has to do with uh, whatever has been not acknowledged um, around your feelings and something about your emotions that you've kind of buried and hidden in the in the recesses of your mind in the corners of in the dark basically so it's all coming out and it's here to be uh, recognized and dealt with. Um, it's an opportunity for clearing and healing. Um, and then for cancers, the uh, information side of it, the, the pride and like ego and wounding of dignity issues for you would be showing up in material world in, in resources and in money. You might feel like someone, um, didn't treat you right or didn't pay you right with some money. You may have to go after someone. There's some kind of a, of a struggle there or financial struggle or some communication that needs to be straightened out around those areas. Um, and then at the same time, your, um, you know, Venus in your sign is asking you to step into honoring and respecting your feelings and learning to communicate them and stand up for yourself and have firm, clear boundaries. So you know, this, I, I mentioned Brene Brown for, uh, for Gemini's. I'm going to mention it again. I think every sign should actually look her up and look at her videos because she talks about speaking with strong boundaries and having respect for yourself. That's what allows you to have a lot of compassion for other people is having very clear and strong boundaries. So this is coming up here for, for, um, cancers, but it's very personal. It's a very personal sense of like, wow, why didn't they respect me? Or I don't feel, you know, it's, they might feel like they don't like me or whatever, that kind of thing, but it's not personal. And it's important for you to recognize that, that there is definitely something going on that is relationship oriented about someone being really rough and really harsh. And you have to have strong boundaries and have strong respect for yourself um, in order to have compassion for what anybody else is going through. It's like, look, I love you. I care very much for you, but you don't talk to me that way. Or I'm not going to have such and such in my house. I still love you. You know, that kind of thing. So it's um, this is really coming up as a boundary issue, an emotional boundary issue for cancers. Um, and yeah, this is going to continue this all long-term sort of uh, learning of this lesson for the rest of the year. Although it could just be over just like that. You could just get it and like shift just that quickly. Um, it's really up to you. So, okay. Um, after cancers, let's, uh, let's move on to uh, Sagittarius and Pisces who are the, um, Pis the Jupiter ruled signs. Um, for Sagittarius, the retrograde of Mercury in Leo and into Cancer is, in fact, um, more of a uh, philosophical reorientation of your ideas and thoughts and uh, going into the emotions around your philosophical outlook and why you have these ideas about things and why you have this philosophy. Um and it is bringing you into uh, an expression of areas of your life where you felt um, maybe um, an unfair balance of power in your relationships. And you are being asked to come, you know, the North Node is asking you to respect your feelings and listen to your feelings so that you can rebalance that and not repeat that in the future. Um, the... Issues being uh, around money, coming up around money and finances and what you have and what's yours and maybe burdens and uh, struggles that you're carrying around finances um, 
you're being asked to uh, reassess your philosophy around these things so that you can communicate and express what you need, express your needs in a clearer way in order to get what you need um, in your shared uh, resources area in the future. So this is a, a big clearing and a big opportunity for you to express your respect for yourself and others through a very clear um, ideation of what is important to you in a group setting or a shared setting. Not a group setting, but a, a partnership type of environment. And power struggle also issues around, you know, around what's yours, what's somebody else's and a partner, with a partner. Um, okay, and for Pisces people, the, um, yeah, the, the retrograde is in your sixth house, um, and the retrograde of Leo. So something about your, you know, everyday life is, is, is bringing up something that is upsetting or, um, there may be some, someone in your everyday environment where there's a, 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 a wound for, um, to, to around respect and um, issues of respect are very prominent now for everybody. Uh, for you, the emotional stuff in your fifth house and creativity can be very helpful and healing, especially if there's a new uh, relationship in your life. Um, that's going to bring a lot of nurturing and healing and relief from uh, any sort of, as long as the the respect issues are mu are being treated with mutual care. In other words, like respect goes both ways, right? As long as everybody in this partnership or this new relationship is being treated with respect, things will go well. Um, uh, the, uh, there is a, a sort of a challenge, a limitation, a restriction taking place somehow in the social arena though. So the burdens here or the problems are in your greater network of people in the social environment that is sort of forcing a confrontation or an examination of your feelings around uh, your creativity, your artwork, that kind of thing. And, you know, there could be some kind of an issue here where there's uh, a problem with artistic ownership or rights around ownership and issues that are brought up around pride and respect and dignity and people, someone like it's for an example, like let's say you're working on a project together and someone feels that they were disrespected and then they take, someone else's ideas and go off, it goes off and uses them as their own. Okay. So then suddenly now you're in a legal hassle and it's a headache. So, and ultimately the whole issue was about respect and everyone getting treated with the uh, appropriate level of mutual respect. So these are the things that are coming up now. And the closer you can get to the root of what the issue is, the faster you can clear it up. So that's, uh, that's what's going on there for Pisces. Um, and then moving on to Capricorn and Aquarius, the Saturn ruled signs, Capricorn, uh, a whole lot of this energy is just swirling around you, right? And there's just a lot of, uh, challenges. Um, there is someone in your environment. There's someone who's either a friend or a partner, someone, or, I mean, I hope it's not you, but there's someone who's raging and angry and, uh, has their ego, bruised, um, some, something around, uh, the ego or identity of somebody that you have associated with, or maybe gotten part of your identity about your association with them or what they do. And this is not reflecting well on you. Um, it's sort of like, what if you were friends with Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein, you know, <laughs> and like you were getting a lot of business or clients from knowing Jeffrey Epstein. And suddenly now, you know, hopefully you don't really know what he's up to. You just sort of know him socially. And now that he's arrested, it's casting a bad light on you. And so it's that kind of dynamic, right, that uh, is happening for Capricorns where they have to wrestle with their identification with outside people and whether they, you know, what they're, um, whether they really are people that deserve the respect that they're getting. So, and there's a whole lot going on for uh, Capricorns around partnership and needing to respect, listen to, and value the uh, feelings, needs, and values of your partners. So partners are speaking out or people you are, you're involved with or working with, and they are needing to be heard. And um, you are in a position right now where you 
pretty much, I mean, you might be really strict, you might be really inflexible, but I feel like you're not going to be able to. You're going to need to listen to something outside of what you think the way things are. So there is some kind of a, a breaking open and a expanding of your worldview that's taking place. That's going to lead you to a much deeper level of connection with your partners and a much more loyal, um, valuable, long-term kind of uh, association. So it's deep, but it might not be that easy, but it's going to uh, really open some big doors for you towards the end of this year. Um, and then Aquarius. Uh, for Aquarius people, that uh, the Saturn limitation, you know, restriction energy, this is, um, this is like, it's going on in the subconscious. So it's kind of behind the scenes. It's almost like if someone has a secret on you, and they're holding your feet to the fire. They're holding you in a secret over your head. Like, don't do that or I'm going to tell, right? And, you know, it's really having an impact on your everyday life. It might really be limiting what you can do, where you can go. Um, the truth is that the, the energy, the flow of direction of energy is towards the releasing of that information. It's towards the releasing and the freedom in those day-to-day -day routines. There is some kind of um, partner, someone who's uh, who's speaking, saying things that might be hard to hear, or there might be something that there's just like a someone who's who got slighted, who felt um, disrespected, could be saying things that are causing problems and limitations for you. So for Aquarius, it's uh, you know, this is. This is hard because if you have secrets, well, you know, those, you know, I like that saying, we're only as sick as our secrets. It's really a good idea to clear them and get them out, you know, and not hold on to them. Um, that's because they're going to come out anyway. So it's really the time to release stuff. And I'm not saying every Aquarius out there has secrets, but you might have stuff that's burdening you that might not even be secrets. It might just be stuff that you're ashamed of sharing, that something that happened or something happened to you or whatever. But that stuff actually festers and causes wounds if we don't go in and deal with it and release it and let it go. So the opportunity here for you is for a great deal of healing and a opening up of your energy levels and a uh, creating a new routine because you clear out something in the subconscious mind, something that's buried back there. So um, that's it. That covers everybody. So thank you.